The equipment load system in Dark Souls 2 has changed a bit since Dark Souls 1, and it has four major effects on how your character performs. Uh, it affects your roll speed, it affects your roll distance, it affects your stamina recovery rate, and potentially your walk speed. So, most notably, uh, if you are below 70% total equipment load, you will have the traditional fast roll. If you're over 70%, you get the fat roll. Equipment load under 70% also affects roll distance. So if you're at 0% equip load, you're gonna roll significantly further than if you are at 50% or 69% equipment load. As you can see here with these various different tests, these are all below the 70% threshold to maintain the fast roll, but using the top of the steps as the starting point and that little brown patch as the marker for total distance, you can see uh, equipment load scales how far you roll. Equipment load also affects stamina recovery rates. In this test, I had 132 stamina, and at 0% equip load, it took 2.3 seconds to fully recover stamina. At 56.2% equip, it took 3.1 seconds to recover. And at 85% equip load, four seconds to fully recover. And at 105.8% equip, 4.6 seconds, so double at over 100% equip load. Sprinting and walking speed both begin to be affected by equipment load at over 100% burden. Between 100 and 120%, you gradually start to walk and run slower, and then at over 120%, you can't roll or sprint or barely even walk. So thanks for checking out this video, and I hope this helps you out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Dark Souls 2 updates. I'm gonna be posting a ton of stuff. Uh, I think my next video is gonna be on how to farm Pharaoh's Lockstones, because it's pretty easy when you know the trick, but I'm also gonna be posting a full walkthrough and tons of different build guides and stuff like that. Uh, so, and if it helps you out, be sure to give the video a like. It helps spread the word. Thanks for watching. Game on.